What's up, everybody coming in? If you can like the live, I'd greatly appreciate it, okay? Good morning. Good morning, everybody coming in. Hope y'all are doing well today. I'm just waiting for some more people to join. I feel like I picked a bad time, I'm telling you. I should have waited a little later. Should have waited a little later. We'll see how many people join. I might do this live later. We'll see. We're going to see how many people join. What's up, everybody coming in? It is a beautiful day. And no face stamps. <laughs> yeah, I, w I went with the, the weird little bow tie filter today. Uh, okay, let's get it going. So apparently you have an aunt here, okay, is what I'm hearing. And this woman has, like, control over some type of inheritance. Ooh, it, like, <laughs> goes over it. Okay, anyways, um, you have this aunt here that's in control of some type of inheritance or something like that is what I'm hearing, okay? Like, this woman does not want you to get any money. She's trying to make sure that she takes you down. This could be, like, a grandparent that she's in control of or just somebody that left you money is what I'm hearing, okay? It's like she doesn't want you to be living this good life whatsoever. So she's over here praying and hoping that something happens to you before this money comes towards you, before this person dies, whatever it may be, before she has to give you this inheritance is what I'm hearing, okay? But whoever you are, it's like you're still going to get this. So I don't even know why she's trying right now. Um, this woman's actually going to end up losing everything for trying to block you. And I feel like you've definitely seen this woman for who she really is. Like her mask has get, been ripped off. Um, you were supposed to receive some type of mail about this inheritance and you never did, okay? It's because this woman was literally over here trying to stop you from getting this message because she didn't want you to be ready and she didn't want you to know that this was coming for you, okay? I feel like this person hasn't passed on yet, so it's not like this is stolen, but this woman is literally sitting here trying to, um to uh doctor some paperwork is what i'm hearing okay yeah because you stand to w gain a lot of money from this but you're still gonna get this is what i'm hearing okay so don't worry about that it's like there's nothing that she's gonna get away with because this woman thinks she's just gonna get away with taking completely everything but her ass is gonna be stopped period because this is part of your blessings you're supposed to be getting this is what i'm hearing and this woman could actually end up going to prison for falsifying documents here yeah she's a very dark soul is what I'm hearing. This woman definitely likes to do black magic. Um, dragons are significant. I'm also hearing Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Virgo, Cancer, okay? So those could be your sign. They could be her sign. Thank you guys for the gifts. But yeah, this woman has hated you since you were born. She did. She has like done spell work on her brothers and sisters is what I'm hearing. She could have actually taken some of them out. This was absolute spell work here is what I'm hearing. And she's working on your parent if your parent is not gone, okay? She's also working to do spell work on you. Some type of like binding spells is what I'm hearing to make sure that you don't get this favor. You don't get this this inheritance that nothing good happens in your life because this woman wants you completely out of the way she could act very friendly but i feel like this woman is not friendly at all like there has been times where she has shown you that she doesn't like you and you have seen her true colors and you take things for what they are like you don't try to make excuses for people whoever you are okay this is fated for this inheritance or whatever this money is to come to you so just stay calm knowing that this woman is going to run out of ideas and all her bright ideas are going to be completely completely um 
they're going to be called out by spirit, okay? I'm going to tell you right now. It's like this woman has been dreaming of the day that she was going to be able to take you down. But she's not going to be able to because you have this favor from God. Like, you're a very kind person. And I feel like she's also pulled, like, some type... I'm hearing pill-popping friend, okay? So she could have a pill-popping friend that she pulled into this. That they do magic. They, like, talk to these deities. And they wish evil on you. If you have children, they're wishing evil on your children. They're wishing evil on your parent as well, which is their sibling. Yeah, it's like this woman is bullying you in the spirit as well. But every time she bullies you, some shit ricochets and it hits her. And this woman feels like she is not okay. Um, she's over here trying to look on, look in any type of evidence that she can get on you to get you arrested, to um, completely take you out, to find a weakness is what I'm hearing. She wants to know your weakness. This woman is very childish and very nasty, okay? And her and her little friend are over here celebrating not for fucking long because she thinks that this plot and this plan is going to work that this magic to get you sick is going to hit you but actually what it's going to do is everything's going to completely backfire on this woman and she is going to be absolutely pissed here as well okay i feel like she's definitely trying to uh, mess with you in the astral realm as well she's trying to cause an injustice i'm hearing um you in your sleep okay but it's not working so now she's over here like fighting with this friend i'm hearing your powers aren't strong enough we need to add somebody else in this mix and then i'm also hearing somebody else say but if we add add somebody else then that's just one more person that knows about what we're doing it's like they're constantly fighting in the background because they're not getting their desired results here because you're still over here in this emperor or empress energy you're still over here loving yourself and nobody's able to trap you so this woman is really pissed and i'm gonna tell you what she's very stubborn um when it comes to your family like she doesn't want anybody else being around this grandparent or whoever she has this uh power of attorney over she doesn't want anybody else um getting anything from this person i'm hearing thief it's like she literally steals everything that's good and she's over here pissed off because she can't cause a natural disaster in your life that is too bad it's like she is over here constantly frightened as well because she's been sending these deities at you and now they're coming back to her because god is like literally deflecting these deities right off you to this woman period okay i'm gonna tell you right now it's like this woman keeps playing games and none of her games are working um she's about to end up getting investigated She's about to end up getting investigated is what I heard, okay? Or she's con or she's right now being investigated for this. She's been trying to stop your path and stop your journey since the day you were born. I'm hearing something about uh doing some type of um some type of spell work on her siblings so that these siblings can have children, but your dad or your mother or whoever this aunt is siblings with was the one person that ended up um breaking through this and they ended up actually having children here okay yeah this bitch is gonna learn a valuable lesson and it's not to fuck with you period because every time she sends something at you you're going to end up being liberated and i feel like there's gonna be something that happens with this woman i'm hearing like hip problems she could have like a fall or something or she could really hurt herself and end up in the hospital this is because she won't drop that ego and she won't drop her pride is what i'm hearing as well yeah this woman's over here overloaded and stressed out because she has too much on her plate she won't let anybody help her because she literally wants the promise of everything, all the inheritance. I'm hearing the jewels, the money, the cars, the clothes, whatever it may be, okay? And because of her cursing you and cursing the rest of her family... Um, what's actually happening is this woman's life is a nightmare. She's not winning at anything. Like nothing is going well for her and her money's like depleting. I also feel like she's literally like stealing money out from under this grandparent or whoever this is. It's like, she's literally sitting there using this person's money, spending this person's money. And she has control over it. So this person has no idea. Like, if this is a grandparent, this person's definitely, like, way too old to be taking care of their own stuff is what I'm hearing. Yeah, anything for her to gain what she wants to gain. She will act sweet. She will act nice. She will do whatever she has to do to make sure that she doesn't get caught is what I'm hearing, okay? And like I said, she's collaborating with, like, some little pill-popping friend and um, a bunch of other people. I'm hearing Dungeons and Dragons. That could be significant or, like, some type of... 
of um, witches and warlock game is what I'm hearing that this woman is like old as fuck and she still hangs out with these people and likes to play this. I'm also hearing like for somebody's aunt, she hangs out with people that are like your age. Look at how they like change the lighting. This bitch is fucking weird. Like this woman tell a weird. She needs to like act her age point blank period. Okay. She doesn't see what's coming for her and what's coming for her is this is death. Like she is literally not even going to be able to um, enjoy all this inheritance or whatever this is that she's trying to steal. It's all going to go to you anyway because all this death magic, like I said, is going to completely backfire on this woman. And she's wondering why. She's like wondering why you're not withdrawing from life. Like wondering why your energy is not depleting. Wondering why um, she can't take you down or take you out and these rituals aren't working. She's getting more upset by the day because she knows damn well that like you are stronger than her. You are the professional point blank period okay is what I'm hearing yeah it's like um you're gonna gain everything that you deserve out of this situation and there's nothing that this woman is gonna do to stop you or block you but trust and believe like she is in the background trying hard like she is doing everything that she can to make sure that you don't get anything that you desire yes this is collective this one's collective dang this woman is so childish too like she literally acts like whoever you are like you're younger you may be younger or like a lot younger than her she literally acts like um she's your age or younger than your age for somebody like your aunt likes to like smoke pot or pop pills or something like that is what i'm hearing okay um this woman's very grimy i do want to say that okay she's very grimy yeah it's like she has a lack of awareness and she's over here sending this evil eye at you it's not working because she's doing everything out of talk toxicity you literally haven't done anything from like to her and you've always had empathy for her but this woman has had like a lack of empathy for everybody she sits there and wants to blame everybody else for her problems, for her depression, for her sadness, but she has sabotaged her own life. She has sabotaged herself, and that's why she can't escape this energy, because she is like a saboteur. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing it in like, in like those little crazy ass like voices like the saboteur. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah, see, exactly. She's looking for a vulnerability because she sees you shining bright, and she's trying to put an end to you, point blank period, okay? This woman has no boundaries and she has like no self-respect or self-love whatsoever her obsession is with you period she could have got like fired from a job for stealing or whatever somebody's aunt was like a nurse or a scientist or something like that as well but um this woman is like obsessed with your path it's like she constantly has a bird's eye view on you trying to make you the victim but she's over here constantly i'm telling you talking about how everybody fucked her over she's the victim this hurt her that hurt her and she she like refuses to heal it's like she refuses to heal and she's so indecisive i feel like this is because she's constantly intoxicated under the influence in some way shape or form okay yeah this woman has absolutely no discipline here but she doesn't realize that like you are the warrior she can keep trying to cause this resistance in your life and she can sit here and put a cape on herself because she's going to be super mad you are always going to persevere i feel like this woman is very arrogant here and she's irritated because you're over here and you're taking leaps of faith to face your fear it's like you're roaming free and she feels like um you have this freedom that she wants to have but she has literally sabotaged herself she has locked down herself period and now because she's coming for you doing this spell work on you and trying to harm you it's slowing everything down in her life material wise okay it's like this woman is losing so much money she doesn't know what to do i'm hearing something about like uh frozen accounts or frozen assets as well this is going to be happening to her in the future this is because of a mysterious shift it's like she was over here trying to um sail away from her karma but now karma is about to hit especially if she's a libra okay hey mike hey everybody if she's a libra i'm gonna tell you right now or if she has libra in her chart in any place we are coming into libra season so those of y'all that are libras out here doing fuck shit you better figure it the fuck out yeah it's like she's over here literally trying to avoid karma here she can't avoid karma period okay and she's over here disconnected from spirit while she's sitting here trying to act like she's such a zen buddhist person or such a nice person she's fucking not she's very closed-minded she's very very cold 
she's very harsh. I'm seeing that card my way and my other deck. So it's like my way or the highway with her. But what she's actually doing is causing mental blocks for herself. And she doesn't tolerate anybody either. It's like if you're doing something and she doesn't like it or she doesn't want you doing it, she's very intolerant of this shit, okay? It's like she's not able to adapt like you are either. She's very jealous of you. It's like she constantly needs validation, especially like from her parents. I'm going to tell you right now, like she constantly always needs some type of validation here. All right. It's like she feels entitled to your inheritance. She feels entitled to your gifts. There could be like some spiritual gifts that you have that this woman doesn't have either. And it makes her very insecure because she wants to be like the leader of the family and she's absolutely not. So she's over here trying to compete with you when she has no business. This aunt needs to realize that she does not compete where she doesn't compare. It's like she has this dual energy. She's over here and it's like when most people look at her, she's all peace and love and light. And then when it comes to you or when it comes to um, other people that are family, it's like she ends up showing her true colors that she's very nasty, very evil is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, she needs some clarity on the fact that she needs to heal, period. And this is like in the here and now because this woman doesn't have much longer on this earth because she has lived her whole life in deception like i said for some of you this woman literally like took out your other aunts or uncles um may have taken out your father yeah this woman is under judgment here okay for everything that she's been doing her time is up and she has literally been over here um trying to slow down time so that she doesn't get her karma and now she feels unsettled because she's starting to feel that this karma is catching up to her like the time is now is what i heard okay she's over here like tunnel vision on you because you're not resentful and you're not upset at the fact that you know that she's attacking you you know that god um definitely has your back is what i'm hearing as well okay because your discernment is on point okay now this woman is defensive because um, because she's ashamed of herself. Deep down inside, she really is ashamed of the way that she's been acting. Like she's very stubborn. Um, and the things she's been doing to you in the background is ridiculous. Here goes this addiction. I'm telling you right now. Like heavy Libra energy. This woman could be a Taurus or have Taurus in her chart as well for somebody. But it's like this woman has control issues. It's like she really over here wants to control everything. And she can't even control her addictions. Let's just fucking call it how it is right here okay this woman can't even um control her addictions and it's like she's over here overthinking as well is what i'm hearing trying to resist change damn see for someone this aunt is a fucking libra i'm telling you right now it's like she doesn't want you to find out the truth she doesn't want you to self-reflect and have this clarity and she's jealous of the fact that um that you don't doubt yourself and the fact that you get these messages from the divine one way or another because she has been doing a lot of work to sit here and block you to make you feel lost and to manipulate you in the spirit to have some type of power over you or to leave you powerless because she sees this crown on your head and she sees that like you are supposed to be the king or the queen of the family and she has always been the one who wanted to be looked at like the the queen of the family like the person who is the one that you come to the helper the lover she's not any of those things she's just very selfish she's just very um narcissistic and nasty is what i'm hearing as well okay very narcissistic and nasty it's like all this woman cares about why am i getting restricted stop reporting my live bitch fuck you yeah it's like this woman just want like this somebody's auntie right up in here watch <laughs> somebody's auntie's up in this bitch already reporting my life look at this shit it's like all she cares about is this money here um and she made a real bad choice trying to murk off everybody in your family or destroy you because whoever you are it's like you are definitely high honor here okay and i feel like she's upset at the fact that she can't get you to act out of your shadow side that you're innocent in this situation i'm gonna tell you right now it's like she is not a divine feminine look at this shit in the reverse this woman is not a divine feminine whatsoever and she is about to get disciplined like she thinks she's gonna make progress in trying to destroy your structure but that's not what's gonna happen here period okay it's like all she's gonna do is uh cause mental conflict for herself and cause disagreements in her life she is not getting this prosperity and for her trying to take yours i feel like she's not getting any of this prosperity she might actually pass away before this even freaking happens or pass
pass away right when she thinks she's going to get this inheritance, period. And you could be like the only other sole beneficiary. I don't know how this is working, okay? But whoever you are, it's like you're more resilient than her is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, this woman definitely has deep wounds like that she never wanted like she never healed she could have got picked on a lot in school is what I'm hearing and for somebody like your aunt's overweight and she's very self-conscious about that but she sits and like does nothing but eat and be lazy and do drugs like tell me how that shit works okay yeah it's like she wanted to be the leader of the pack the leader of the family but this woman definitely has no clarity whatsoever and I feel like all these people that are going to collaborate with her are going to completely subside for somebody you have your mother collaborating with this woman um your mother could be like a taurus virgo capricorn she could be a scorpio as well is what i'm hearing somebody's mother is like a leo aries or sagittarius here yeah it's like these people don't want you to be responsible and i feel like you are being responsible so they're trying to make you look incompetent like they're trying to make you look irresponsible because these people definitely want you in poverty thank you guys for the gifts they want you in poverty here but i'm going to tell you right now these people are going to regret the day that they ever came up against you regret the day that they ever tried to destroy your independence period okay because you are still going to work past this regardless and everything is going to come to you there are no illusions that are stopping you or blocking you here because i see that like um your angels and ancestors and god as well is like protecting your mental stability because these people are doing a lot of work on like your health and your mental stability because these people don't want you to be mentally capable of taking care of yourself or if you have children taking care of your children, something could have been left to your children as well by this person or by somebody else. And these people know about it and you may or may not know about it. Okay. Yeah. For somebody, you don't know anything about this is what I'm hearing. Okay. These people are trying to block your inner guidance, but you're still listening to it because, um, you know, damn well that it's time for you to move on and it's time for these people to get their karma. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. It's a completion of this world. And these people are literally over here trying to hit you with childhood trauma that you've already healed it's like they're trying to like make memories pop up in your head of like um maybe when you were abused or when something trigger warning happened to you se actually okay um and it's not working because you had the patience and you took the time out to stop and heal yourself before any of this um before any of this took place and i'm telling you it's like you have your freedom from this that's why you're able to move forward and you're able to stay secure i'm hearing mentally balanced as well okay yeah these people are literally over here contemplating on how to make you criticize yourself but whoever you are it's like you're learning to love yourself you're learning to love every part of yourself and see how special beautiful or handsome you are period and these people are irritated because it's like you're they don't have the courage that you do and they're stuck in these round and round cycles um and they're mad that you're able to move on to this new cycle of your life and that's the damn truth here yeah they've got like a community of people coming up up against you and they don't want you to know about this but i feel like you already know you're being gang stalked you already know you're being watched you already know you're being blocked and um you're determined to stay emotionally balanced like you're determined to keep going as well and these people are wondering how you're so high vibrational still you, they are wondering how you are so high vibrational still they can't stand it because every time that they try to create conflict and chaos in your life what happens in it is it goes right back to them because they are trying to put you in this low vibration energy they're trying to put you in this sadness and whoever you are it's like you really are in this sun energy as well there's going to be an ending to this situation oh i forgot to say if you guys want to donate my cash app paypal sunny divinity 007 if y'all can help me reach my gift goal, that would be awesome, okay? Yeah, there's going to be a death to this situation here, period, okay? I feel like these people try to act like they have compassion for you just because they're trying to hide something from you. But really, in the background, they're over here trying to compete with you, and they will not change their mind. Like, they absolutely won't. They want to stay deceptive. They enjoy being deceptive. Their whole life, they have gone and taken people down, done spell work on people, stolen from people. Your mother, this aunt as well is what I'm hearing, okay? these people are not in alignment with you or with god and i feel like they're definitely losing their energy and losing their ambition to attack you here okay um they don't want your manifestations coming in but here comes these manifestations because all these secrets are going to be revealed here and there's nothing these people are going to do about it they wanted you in this disappointed energy 
now these women are in a disappointed energy here because they work together to try to completely destroy you, take you down, and make sure that you couldn't continue living your life. But you're over here standing strong, ten toes down, and you will not surrender to these people whatsoever because you know that you have a purpose and you are important here and you have a direction to go and you know which way you're going and that is north. You are looking at the North Star, point blank period, okay? These people need to give it a rest, but they absolutely won't. But what they're going to realize this mother figure especially too this aunt and this mother are going to realize the fact that like all this tension is just going to go back on them and I feel like they're not going to be able to adapt to it the way that you were point blank period okay because neither of them are creative it's like they also want like your creative energy you may be like very gifted very artistic like you may be able to sing or rap or something like that and these people want gifts like that I don't feel like they were equipped with any of these gifts because they would have used them to disadvantage other people and use them to their advantage instead of using it to better the world okay they definitely would have is what I'm hearing yeah it's like these people refuse to change but you're still over here open-minded you're still over here open-minded and that pisses these people off because they thought that they were going to be able to stop your path stop your purpose but they aren't stopping shit is what I heard <laughs> They aren't stopping a damn thing. It's like you're still making money regardless. You're still doing what you need to do regardless. And somebody's spiritual eye is about to get poked out. Like they've been uh they've been a monitoring spirit. They've been like monitoring you. I'm hearing like looking through mirrors. I'm also hearing like going in the spirit and astral projecting. But this isn't gonna work anymore because they're being blocked from doing this because they're using it for bad intention here. Like they're using it to try to figure out um what your next move is, what's coming into your life, how to destroy you and go. God is not going to let these people productively sit here and fucking destroy you anymore because this is ridiculous. It's time for these people to stop. Like, this has gone on too far is what I'm hearing, okay? You're about to get some good news here, though, as well. Thank you so much. You're about to get some good news here. And I feel like this is because you've done a lot of work on yourself and you've invested in yourself. Okay, just trust that this is coming. This could be about, like, moving is what I'm hearing. Like, you could be getting some good news about, like, moving or... um obtaining a house that you want or something like that as well yeah like I said because you chose to heal because you chose to keep growing and you took control over your life good news is coming towards you and these people know that as well like they're trying to block communication from like some type of love interest here as well like they don't know this person but they definitely know the energy of this person so they're trying to deplete this person spiritually and they're throwing spell work at this person so that they don't come towards you or you don't come toward this person as what I'm hearing as well okay but I feel like this person's going to be guided towards you anyway like there's nothing that they're going to be able to do about it like all their little clever plots and plans are just going to end up failing because this person is definitely part of like your manifestation you're not meant to be alone here is what I'm hearing okay and you've also got like um, opportunities and money coming towards you as well just stay strong at this time forgive these people and move on because you are meant to be great you don't have time to sit here and be stewing on these disloyal pieces of shit you got stuff to do is what i'm hearing okay yeah and just understand that like uh when it comes to work keep working hard because these people are trying to knock you off balance like they don't want you working for what you desire here and they're definitely trying to distort your vision they want you to be scared to like make any type of action to um better yourself or to upgrade your life is what i'm hearing but that's only because they want you trapped and stuck like they are they definitely didn't live up to their potential your mother or your aunt is what I'm hearing okay so it's like they want you to be stuck and they don't want you to have any freedom because they didn't live up to their potential it's like you've been getting spiritual downloads spiritual messages and intuitive nudges about these women for quite a long time now okay and there is like you've been reflecting on it for long enough so God's saying like let put it in his hands let him handle these snakes here is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you've definitely set the boundaries. Now it's God, your angel, and your ancestors' turn to take care of these women. Because if you do something to them, you're going to end up getting karma. And these, these women aren't fucking worth it. They're not worth it whatsoever, period, okay? Yeah, just worry about your your uh, journey and keep going with confidence is what I'm hearing, okay? Because whoever you are, it's like I'm hearing gentle giant. Somebody's a gentle giant, like you're very tall, you're gentle, you're a good person. But it's like you're meant to lead a community or you're meant to... Um, 
be the leader of your life either way and understand that like you are protected these people are going to be forced to let go regardless okay and as far as like what's coming into your life like i said these women are blocked from knowing anything because they're trying to destroy your independence like these women are over here trying to play with your independence and trying to ruin your peace but you are in this lucky period and you have the grace of god so this abundance is going to come in anyway here's the new cycle coming in okay and these closed-minded people People aren't going to be able to see shit and they're not going to be able to do anything about it okay didn't i say something about a dragon i'm telling you right now like somebody's aunt is like obsessed with dragons or something like that okay yeah it's like you're going to be able to um to keep going i'm like literally seeing somebody it's like you're running and you don't normally run okay and it's whoever you are i'm seeing you like running and you're almost out of breath but then there's like something that comes over you in the spirit and you're like okay i'm still running yeah it's because you're running toward this new beginning here it's like you're always going to have that extra push or that extra strength that you need okay you are always going to have that extra push or that extra strength that you need because you're following your dreams right now. Like, there's so many possibilities for you here. And all this, like, evil bullshit, this spell work that these women are trying to talk over you, it's not going to work, okay, is what I'm hearing. There's no tension that they're going to bring in your life, but they are going to suffer the consequences for playing games with you. And I feel like they were sitting here laughing when you were down bad. But here's the thing about it is, like, now they want to be one with you or they want to be a part of your life or they want to weasel their way back in but it's only to get some type of authority over you is what i'm hearing okay keep these boundaries up and keep these people blocked in the spirit and in the physical because they're trying to figure out how to come in with an apology but this apology comes with a trap is what i'm hearing okay this apology definitely comes with a trap from these unhealed ass motherfuckers that's what i heard all right yeah because these people know that like i said they can feel it they can feel this karma coming and they then their whole life is a fucking nightmare it's starting to show in their life it's starting to show in their um in their mental state as well it's like they were over here trying to make you incompetent trying to make you crazy and now these people are depressed and they're suicidal and they want to just completely end it all well that's a them problem period okay because every time that they try to do something to fuck with you like you're gonna escape from it because these are a bunch of narcissists is what i'm hearing okay these are a bunch of narcissists that are in their feelings because they can't figure out how to tie their self or bind their self to your energy and they can't use your energy to nurture their self is what i'm hearing okay these people are not slowing you down whatsoever and yes these women are both karmic point blank period okay i feel like they're karmic soulmates and understand that a soulmate you have soulmates that are friends family dogs animals all that stuff okay but these women are like karmic soulmates you have been in each other's life every single lifetime but this time it's different like they've burned the bridge and now you're gonna let that shit crumble period okay they thought this was gonna be completely thrilling is what i heard as well like this is gonna be completely thrilling to destroy you to try to shut doors in your faces but actually what's happening is doors are opening for you and these women are absolutely exhausted as well like they know there's no hope in blocking you because you're too inspiring because you're too optimistic and because you you are who you say you are all the time like these women like to wear masks you're completely different than them whether you are a male or a female period and they see that new opportunities are coming in for you that's why they're trying to figure out what these opportunities are especially in business so they can block these things because they're envious pieces of shit the time to delay you is completely over and they need to take their delusional ass on because I'm telling you right now, there is no more second chances for these women. They have literally made a bed for you that they are about to lay in, period, okay? While you're going to be over here wealthy and secure and there's nothing that these women are going to be able to do about it because they're going to be over here drowning, hitting rock bottom and there's going to be no more peace, harmony or balance in their life. They're going to be over here stuck as fuck just like they wanted you to, depleted of their energy just like they wanted you to be because you're keeping your distance from these people okay and they're also confused as to why um they can't get you in any type of legal trouble it's because you're not doing anything bad it's like you're over here high vibrational minding your business while you got these bitter salty bitches over here trying to attack you just because you you have wisdom just because you're a good person because you give back to the community just because you're not toxic like them and they're jealous of the fact that you don't have to be two-faced to get your way because these two women like they always have to be two-faced to get their way period okay yeah i feel like they should have been careful with you and they definitely weren't careful and blood is i'm gonna tell you what water's thicker 
than blood these days. Like, these bitches are not even family, okay? These bitches are not even family. That's why you isolated yourself from these people because they were trying to leave you out. It's like they wanted you left out. They wanted you isolated. And both these women need to, like, wake up and see the fact that they're psychopaths. They're watching you completely ignoring the fact that these women are fucking psychopaths. It's like now they're over here suffering in silence just like they wanted you to because Archangel Michael is bringing the fucking pain and he's extracting these women from your energy because they have got to go. They have got to go, period. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <clears throat> that was a mouthful, no pun intended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a mouthful, period. All right, let's get let's get a um, couple of these rune cards before I go. I'm not going to make this super hard. Did you like that? <laughs> Mouthful, no pun intended. Ew. Ew. TikTok's going to block me for that. Yeah, whoever you are, it's like um, you've definitely been purifying yourself. God's been purifying you. And you've been purifying your energy. Like you're becoming the person that you always wanted to become. And these people are like so like look at how this is like the, the literal polar opposite here. It's like these bitches over here are trying to make you look like you're dark, like you're nasty, like you're a bad person and you're not. Okay, like they're not getting your harvest. This is like the harvest card, but it's in reverse. It's like they're not getting your abundance. They're not getting your harvest harvest here it's like you're still gonna make progress is what i'm hearing um this could be like some type of trust like i was saying for somebody as well this is like destined to come to you this was destined to come to you period okay you are the warrior and these women are not gonna make you their fucking sacrifice what they're actually gonna do is they didn't realize that like trying to sacrifice you and your potential that was actually opening them up because they're gonna be their own sacrifice period they will be their own downfall and this is progressing really quick. Here comes this card out again. It's like this shit is coming up real quick because this was faded. Damn. I'm telling you right now, like this is faded for these women to go down and for you to win this victory because they're so dark. They're such nasty people. And it's like they literally sit here and try to limit everybody else. Um, they try to destroy everybody else and make sure that nobody else has any potential. They do nothing but delay people in the shadows because they're too scared to do this to your face because you're stronger than them. Point blank period is what I'm hearing, okay? Yeah, this is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is completely in your favor, divine, feminine, and masculine. And here comes this rebirth in this new world. Here comes this rebirth in this new world, boo. It was destiny. Oh my God, right? <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. Cause you're not a false person. It's like, these people are like, are like wondering how they have been so fucked up to you for so many years of your life. And you are not a false person like them, or you're not a bitter person like them. They actually like hate you for that. They hate the fact that like, you are not a false person or you're not envious or you're not nasty. Okay. Um, one of these people, their relationship is going to completely fall apart is what I'm hearing as well. And this relationship for you that's coming in, it's completely protected. This person's going to be a gift from God is what I'm hearing. And these two women are very concerned. What are these women concerned about? Somebody's concerned that they're gonna they're gonna rest in peaches, bitch. Yeah, you are. You're gonna you're gonna get taken the fuck out because you're not getting this sudden wealth from this divine feminine or masculine. And they're getting the message too. It's like they're getting the message, like they feel this death coming, and they don't know if it's like a physical death or a spiritual death or a financial death. They don't know what's coming. But this false person isn't gonna know shit. Like, they're not going to know shit about what's coming, point blank, period. But here comes great fortune for this privileged man or this privileged lady like, right here. It's like, you're going to have great fortune. Um, I'm hearing the first millionaire or billionaire in your family, okay? This is part of your journey. This is part of your journey because you're high honor. You deserve this. And people have been trying to block your income and block anything from coming towards you that has to do with income is what I'm hearing. Now these women are in despair here. They're in despair because they can't steal from you anymore or they're about to get stopped from stealing from you is what I'm hearing. Yeah, these fucking family members here that were trying to change this will or change this trust or take your name off of something or maybe possibly they could have done this, but they're going to get caught for it, period, because 
because they didn't do this out of loving intention, out of good intention here. Yep, here's these crusty old bitches. We're just going to say this is a two-piece. This is a two-piece chicken wing, bitch. This is your aunt and your mama, point blank period, okay? For somebody, for someone, it's just your aunt, but for most of you, it's your aunt and your mama. Yeah, in this community of people, it's like they're all going to be getting this message of concern here. Oh, yep, here's another crusty lady. Okay, so, so your aunt could be older than your mom or vice versa is what I'm hearing. Here's the two crusty old crones right here. They keep doing this spell work on you because they don't want you to be a wealthy man or a wealthy woman. Too fucking bad. It's like they're in their thoughts thinking of like horrible ways to try to stop your pathway, block your pathway. It's not happening. What they need to think about is their ass is going the fuck to prison. Point blank period, okay? Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now, one of them is still working. This bitch is about to lose her occupation. The other could have like could have got fired for stealing something is what I keep hearing, okay? She could have got fired from a really good job. Didn't really make shit of herself. Pretty much sat on her ass. H ain't been doing shit for a cool ass minute, okay? But you are a child of God. I'm telling you right now, like, these people are under judgment because they came for a child of God. And these bitches, if you have children, they were also sitting here attacking your fucking children. Oh, uh-uh. They are not expecting to be in bad health, but these bitches is going down, Okay. They're going down for real. Meet them at the mall. It's going down. You might as well call both these bitches young jock. Because for one, it's going down. For two, they will not get the fuck off your nuts or off your coochie. Either freaking way, okay? You're still going to have this marriage and this beautiful house. And for some of you, um, you've been wanting to like... Uh, find somebody that, that you're in love with and you marry and like have a family, you're going to have that family. You're going to have every single thing that you ever wished for. And these bitches aren't going to do shit to stop it, okay? They ain't doing shit. Look at this. A favorable outcome, says Archangel Michael. Um, he wants you to let go of fear. These women really truly fear you, point blank period, okay? And look at that. I parted it again. A favorable outcome. Archangel Michael's like, bitch, I told you it's a favorable outcome. Y'all are going to win, period, okay? Yeah, I, he wants you to know that you've done nothing wrong in this situation whatsoever. These are just some dark, nasty-ass people. And that he's already resolved this situation in the spirit. Like, this um, this has already been resolved here, okay? So just laugh at these people. Because, honestly, it's truly fucking sad. But it's a little bit funny that they ever thought that they could come in and do this energy work on you and destroy you is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, definitely be focusing on your health at this time is what he's wanting you to know as well. And that your home is protected by the angels okay so there's definitely um no need to worry about your kids yourself everything is going to work out in divine order i like dude this filter is so weird <laughs> this filter is so weird uh don't ask me why i picked it i think it like the funny thing about it was i keep hearing dragons i'm telling you like this aunt or this mother somebody is into dragons like heavily heavily and um this reminded me of, like, the little Asian look, the little dragon, okay? Right? It is hella crazy looking. I was like, um, I don't know about... I, like, if you minus the bows, I could fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? But the the little thing going on, I don't know about all that, okay? I can't be doing all that, okay? Thank you guys so much for the gifts. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to get out of here, but I will definitely see you guys later. Okay. Thank you guys for the likes, the shares, the gifts. Thank you for the cash app. I saw that. I appreciate you. Okay. And um, that is my cash app that Shelly put right here. Okay. If anybody wants to donate, thank you, Shelly, for doing that. Um, if anybody wants to donate, that is my cash app. Um, PayPal is the same spelling, just with the at instead of the little dollar sign, okay? But thank you guys for being here, for the likes, for the shares. Thank you for the roses, for the gifts, and um, just being you, boo. Go out and have a good day, and don't let anybody mess up your day, because you are the captain of your own ship, period. Bye, everybody. How do I do a reading? If you guys want to message me on here... I can set up readings with you guys, okay? So make sure y'all message me on here if you want your readings, okay? I will see you guys later.